Thinking about adding a super fun twin fin fish to your cover? Well, here's my full review of the Firewire 2 fish by Rob Machado. Hi guys, Chris from Stoke Patrol here, or welcome back to the channel. Now before I get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any video goodness. Now today we're going to be talking about the Firewire 2 fish by Rob Machado, the follow-up to his super popular Go Fish twin fin. Uh, now if you've been following the channel for a while, you'll realise I'm a big fan of Rob's surfboard design and the likes of the Seaside, the Sunday, and of course his latest collaboration with Dan Man, the Mashup, which is my go-to daily driver. Uh, so when they announced the launch of the two fish, I was pretty stoked to get my hands on one. Managed to get one super quickly. Uh, I've been riding it for the last couple of weeks and absolutely frothing on it. Uh, so if you're intrigued about what his new board design involves and whether you should be adding it to your quiver, here's my full review. So first off, who is the Firewire 2 fish aimed at? Well, for, it's going to cover a huge variety of surfing abilities. Um, for the more lower end of intermediate and upwards, the forgiving outline of a fish, added extra foam and increased paddle power. It's really going to help that transition from a kind of a longer minimal board into the shorter board realm. It's also going to be a really good fun summer fun board as well. Uh, for more advanced surfers um, looking to get more out of the performance aspect of the board, the smaller sizes are going to really tick the boxes whether you're looking for a twin fin, a fish or a small wave fun board grobbler. When it comes down to board breakdown and dimensions, the Firewire 2 fish comes in a full run of sizing from 5.0 right through to 6.3. Uh, the 5.0 option comes in at 25.9 litres right through to the 6.3 which packs in 46.2 litres. Uh, so it's a big chunky fish. Um, in terms of sizing, they recommend between one and four liters on top of your performance daily driving shortboard. So, but it's also really gonna depend on your skill level, uh, the waves you wanna surf it in, and of course, what you're using as your daily driver as well. Uh, now I went for the 5.7 option, which comes in at 21 and 5 sixteenths by two and a half and packs in 35.9 liters of foam. Uh, I'm 185 centimeters and about 82 kilos. Now, even after my first surf, I realized I've got the sizing spot on with this Firewire 2 fish, and I'm absolutely loving the 5.7 model. I was a little bit dubious because obviously it's a lot shorter than most boards in my quiver, but it handled those small grovelly conditions great. And when it got a little bit bigger, it was great in terms of the performance as well. Um, and due to its uh, less size than most of my boards, it whipped around in the pocket really nicely and felt really maneuverable underfoot. Um, in terms of the contours of the board, uh, compared with the original GoFish, those boardy board channels have been re uh, replaced with a really nice refined and beautifully aesthetic single concave running through most of that board, which actually gets pretty aggressive through that back section of the board, especially through the fins, which is going to channel a lot of water, generate a lot of speed, and give this, gives this board a lot of flow as well. If you check out the tail, obviously you've got a very traditional wide fish tail, uh, which was a little bit nervous that it might uh, impact on the maneuverability of this board, but it actually handles really well. And it's actually really thinned out through that tail bit, which gives that performance in those bigger hollower conditions. It's also worth keeping in mind that as a fish, it's traditionally meant to be surfed a little bit shorter and a little bit more foam than your go-to board as well, because it's got a really chunky wide outline. Um, the center point on the Firewire 2 fish is just a tad for the center as well, which helps with the paddle power. And that low entry and exit rocker is also gonna give you a lot of paddle power. It's gonna allow you to glide into those waves, even in those smaller conditions as well. Awesome. When it comes to build technology, the Firewire 2 fish comes in helium construction, which is by far my favorite epoxy construction across all of surfboard brands. It's light, lively underfoot, and super durable, which makes it great for a really robust board in the quiver and also great to travel with as well. If you do want to learn a little bit more about helium construction, make sure you check out the links in the description below. When it comes to fin setup in the Firewire 2 fish, it is a dedicated twin fin surfboard. But not only this, Machado has also released a set of fins specifically for this board, the Machado 2 fish keel. Uh, now this finds the sweet spot between the traditional keel fin and the more modern days performance twin fin options. Um, so it has all the drive and speed of a traditional keel fin, but still lots of maneuverability and performance of a more modern pivot style twin fin. Um, it's also the first set of endorphins that I've uh, actually tested out and I was really caught off guard with how light they are and how much really good flex pattern they have too. Um, they go absolutely brilliantly. They do exactly what they said on the uh, said on the tin as well. It's got lots of drive, speed and control, but as soon as you put it on rail, it flicks around really nicely and has a lot of performance under your feet as well. So yeah, if you're grabbing this board, I highly recommend grabbing the Machado 2 fin keels as well. 
Uh, it's also worth noting that since Firewire have now moved to uh, Futures only fin boxes, this board is, is only available in Futures. Um, it's not a problem for me. I'm a massive fan of Futures fins over FCS2. Um, but if you are running FCS2 fins and already have some twin fins uh, in your kit bag, um, it's also one to consider when you're looking at buying this board. Uh, if you're looking at the difference between Futures fins and FCS2, make sure to check out the link in the description below for my full video comparing both of them. Now, I don't usually talk about tail pads in my reviews, uh, but I'm going to make a bit of an exception for my two fish review. Uh, when it comes to fishes, it really is personal preference whether you want to put a tail pad on this board at all. Uh, personally, I decided to put one on this board just because I wanted a little bit of extra kind of help with making sure my back foot placement was really nice on this board. And so I went for the Machado Go Pad, which was originally designed for the Firewire Go Fish. Um, now, one note with this, uh, the pad does fit quite nicely onto the board, but I've had to cut out a little bit of extra V out of the kicker of the pad, just so it sits right back over the fins, so you've got a really nice back foot placement without overlapping that deep V fishtail of the Firewire 2 fish. Uh, so if you are going to put a pad on it, just be aware, you might need to cut a little bit out. Easily done with a kitchen knife, just be safe with that, but yeah, you can get it really nice and neat right over the V of the tail. Um, I went with the Go Pad just because it's got a really nice kind of gentle arch and a gentle kicker at the back, so it's kind of a little bit subtle at the back, but totally personal preference whether you want to put a tail pad on this board at all. So what are the ideal wave conditions for the Firewire 2 fish? Uh, well, it's one of those boards that can pretty much handle anything you can throw at it. Uh, given it's 5.7, a lot shorter than most of my boards, I was a bit worried about how it was going to go in those smaller, mushier, less optimal conditions, but I really shouldn't have been dubious about that. It absolutely froths on them. Uh, the first surf I took the board out was about kind of thigh high. I mean, it absolutely made short work of the small little beach break I was surfing, made the sections easily, pivoted really nicely, and had plenty of speed even in those smaller conditions. Uh, since then, I've surfed it in a variety of conditions, up to about head high. For me, the sweet spot on this board is the thigh to shoulder head high range. Um, it can handle a little bit bigger if the waves are a little bit fatter, but that kind of thigh to shoulder high is where I'm really grabbing for this board, and it's super fun. Um, and it still has a lot of performance if the jet swell does jack up from there, but I'm kind of reaching for other boards at that point that I feel a little bit more comfortable on. But it's nice to know this board can handle it. If that nice set wave comes in, stroke in, and it'll give all the performance you want top to bottom surfing and flying down the line. So yeah, you can surf this in a huge variety of conditions, but for me, this is a really nice summer, small wave kind of twin fin fish that's gonna get, make absolute short work of those less favorable conditions. But it's also equally at home in something long and reeling where you can really open it up and get a bit more top to bottom. So what's it like to actually surf the Firewire 2 fish? Well, if I could sum up the board experience in one word, it would have to be flow. This board just feels beautiful underfoot. Uh, from the get-go, there's a lot of speed, a lot of maneuverability, easily makes sections, and it just maneuvers and pivots beautifully underneath your feet, even in the mushiest of conditions. Uh, for me, even on my backhand, this twin fin fish felt really good. I usually struggle to generate a little bit of speed, especially in those smaller conditions on my backhand, especially on a twin fin. Didn't have any trouble at all on the Firewire 2 fish. Uh, when the swell jacks up, those uh, Machado keel fins are really kicking to gear, allowing a lot of performance. They really do bridge that gap between the traditional keel and the more upright pivot fins. A lot of maneuverability, but a lot of control and a lot of pivot from top to bottom as well. Uh, overall, the Firewire 2 fish is just really fun to surf. There's a lot of speed, a lot of flow, and it's going to bring a big smile to your face after every session. So yeah, Firewire 2 fish, absolute beauty to surf. So when it comes to my final verdict of the Firewire 2 fish, um, as you might have guessed from the rest of this review, I'm absolutely frothing on it. Fast, fun, plenty of flow, and can handle pretty much anything you can throw at it, from steeper hollower conditions through to smaller, mushy, less favorable conditions. The 2 fish makes short work of anything, and it's one of those great boards to just chuck in your car if you don't know what the surf's gonna be doing. Uh, for advanced surfers, the performance twin fin fun is going to be super fun for you. And um, for the less experienced surfers, it's going to be that great bridging gap from a bigger board into the short board realm while still retaining plenty of paddle power and small wave capabilities as well. So if you're looking for a twin fin, a fish, or just a versatile go-to board that's just going to leave you with a big smile on your face, the Firewire 2 Fish is an epic addition to your quiver. And there you have it, guys. That's my full review of the Firewire 2 Fish by Rob Machado. Now, if you have any other questions about this board, make sure you add them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Make sure you check out the rest of my YouTube channel for heaps more reviews, advice, and guides to surfing all around the world. That's it for this week, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next week.